Section B consists of 40 marks. Uh, you are told you are required to answer question number six and either question seven or eight in the spaces provided after question eight. So question number six, we are told the table below shows the varying concentration of two hormones, uh, progesterone and luteinizing hormone, determined at seven day intervals during the human menstrual cycle. So these are hormones that are produced during the menstrual cycle of a female. Uh, so time in a day, so this is day one, day seven, uh, the concentration of progesterone in milligrams per centimeter cube of blood is measured and also for luteinizing uh, hormone. So at 20, uh, this is as we can see, uh, day one, the, the progesterone hormone is at the lowest while our luteinizing hormone is highest and uh, so on and so on so we can see the 14 luteinizing um, hormone is at maximum and uh, the progesterone is uh, keep on increasing it is maximum at 21 days uh, so like that so those are, these are the values that we have been given on the same axis uh, draw graphs of concentration of hormones against time uh, so it means that uh, we are going to draw uh, this will be concentration of both hormones and uh, that is the y-axis and this is time in days so that's what the, uh, then we use the values that are here to be able to draw the graph so let's uh, use a graph provided to be able to do that so this is a grid that we are going to use uh to be able to draw the, the the two graphs uh so we are going to use the y-axis i'm going to use uh, uh this uh i'm going to use uh, that scale zero that is uh, zero to five uh, one one small square to represent two because these are five uh so here we have 40 uh here we have 60 uh here we have 80 we have a hundred we have 120 uh that is uh, 120 i think that should be able to serve as uh, the way it is the other one i'm going to use a uh, one small square to represent two so i have five there i have 10 i have 20 uh we have uh, not 20 but uh, 15 we have 20 uh, 25 we have uh, 30 uh, we have 35 uh, we have uh, I think that should be enough because this represent time in days so this is time in days uh, this is concentration of hormones Uh, in milligrams per uh, centimeter cube of blood and I have already my, have my table here so my, I'm going to start with the progesterone uh, so day one it was two uh, so let me use uh, day one it was two uh, so this is day one we have said uh, one small square here represent two uh, so progesterone was two here uh, at day seven it was two again day seven this is uh, uh this uh this one small square represent one so we are going to use uh, and this the, the 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 other one represent two so that's what you have at day seven so this is day six day seven it was still two uh at day 14 it was uh it was uh, 24 day 14 uh, this is uh, day 14 here so we have 20 24 is there uh, then we have at uh, day 21 it was 100 so this is uh, day 21 it was 100 
day 21 should be there uh, then we have day 28 it was 20 day 28 this is uh, 26 27 28 28 it was at 20 28 it was at 20 so it should be there so you use your free hand to join the the points to come up with the to come up with a graph so this is a graph that uh, i've come up with should come up with a similar graph uh, using your free hand so we can say we can label this is a uh, this is a we have started with uh, progesterone Uh, then we come up with a graph of luteinizing uh, luteinizing hormone and from what you have day one it was 46 so this is day one so we go to 46 uh day one we have 42 43 this is where we have 46 i'm um, going to use a different color so, so that we can see the difference graph uh, at seven it was 40 at day seven uh, so this is day six day seven it was for it was uh the seven it was 40. so this is day seven it was 40 uh day 20 day 14 it was 100 so this is day 14 it was 100 day 14 it was 100 that should be our value then we have uh day 21 it was 84 so this is 21 84 this is uh, 84 is there then we have uh day 28 uh, it was 40 day 28 so this is a uh, day 26 27 28 it was 40 and 40 is there so with that we uh, do the same we join the points to come up with the graph uh, so this is a sim a graph that you come up with you try to make your graph as smooth as possible uh, so this is a uh, euthanizing hormone concentration uh, that is concentration and this is a uh, uh, progesterone hormone uh, so with that if you are able to come up with uh, something like that uh, the graphs like this ones uh, you should be able to get uh, eight marks here you'll be awarded marks for using right scale uh, labeling your graph, uh, drawing uh, a good graph, uh, and uh, also indicating which graph represent what. Uh, so that's how you do that. Let's go to the next part of this question. Part B, uh, Roman number one. Name the physiological process taking place when the concentration of luteinizing hormone is highest. So if you go back to to our graph. Uh, luteinizing is highest you can see at 100 uh, so the the physiological process taking place there is ovulation 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 is releasing of mature egg from the ovary so that's what happened when the luteinizing uh, hormone is highest uh, roman number two state the significance of the process in six so just i have used uh, i have explained it is uh, the significance is uh, that at uh, the egg is released or we can say release of ovum over me just uh, another name for the egg the mature egg uh, part c determine the con concentration of uh, progesterone hormone at which the edometrium is thickest uh, so edometrium 
is uh, the mucus is a mucus membrane lining the uterus which thickens during the menstrual cycle in preparation for possible implantation of the embryo so the concentration if you go to the graph uh, you can see it's at 100 uh, at 100 uh, so we say uh, it's 100 centimeter uh, that not centimeter but uh, uh, milligrams uh, per centimeter cube of blood so that is when it's the highest uh, that is when the uh, edometurium will be thickest uh, Roman number two explain your answer in six C Roman number one so we have said that the edotorium is thickest uh, so it is in prepa it becomes thick in preparation for uh, implantation of the embryo so you can say edometurium is thickest when the concentration of of uh, progesterone is highest and uh, we have said in preparation of impre implantation part d we are told state two rows of progesterone hormones in humans uh, so one role of uh, the progesterone is that it inhibits or limits uh, lowers the production of luteinizing hormone so you can say uh, inhibits production of Production of retinizing hormone. Uh, the other one is that it, uh, it it inhibits 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 production of follicle. stimulating hormone uh, and uh, another one you can say is uh, uh, it's 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 stimulate It stimulate the thickening of of uh, endometrial uh, lining. For possible inter for possible implantation. Uh, so that's how that those are. So if you mention any two, you should be able to get two marks. Part A: Name two sites where progesterone hormone is produced in human human body. So one is a uh, corpus. Uh, 
root them or in the ovaries the ovary uh, the other one is a uh, uh, placenta so placenta also produces progesterone hormone at the later stages of pregnancy uh, but F name another hormone apart from the retinizing hormone that inhibits the secretion of progesterone hormone so this is a uh, we say this is a proratin proratin hormone uh, this is also this is also known as a uh, lactoprom lactotropin hormone uh, it helps in enabling mammals to produce milk uh, so that's how you answer that question let's go to the next part part g we are told uh, roman number one predict the concentration of progesterone hormone days after the study uh, period if fertilization did not take place uh, so if you look at our graph uh, this is the progesterone hormone it will continue to decrease uh, so that so that uh, when the next menstrual cycle starts then it will start increasing the process repeats itself so the 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 progesterone hormone will continue decreasing so it will be in between uh, 20 and z that is uh, that is 2 and 20 in between here before the other now the other cycle start and the process uh, continues so we can say that uh, uh, part G uh, it will remain uh, row uh, or keep decreasing keep decreasing uh, so to be at any value between 2 and 20 uh, milligrams per centimeter cube of blood before the the other cycle starts uh, Roman number two give reason for your answer so we can say the 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 the, the, the part the organ where the uh, the the progesterone or, uh, hormone is produced uh, will that is the corpus we have will will break that we have broken down uh, so the corpus luteum Uh, we will have uh, broken down uh, you can uh, you can also use the word degenerated or disintegrated Uh, so you can use any of that or broken down uh, part H name the part of human body where the retinizing uh, hormone is produced uh, retinizing hormone is produced in uh, pituitary grad grad pituitary grad uh, underneath the brain so that is where the retinizing uh, hormone is produced uh, so that's how you answer that and that brings us to the end of question number six